Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Veda and this is The Simple Budget. Here on my channel, I show you how my family is using the zero-based budgeting method in order to get out of debt and simplify our financial life. If that sounds like content that you're interested in, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and join our little crew here. And with that being said, let's get into today's video. All right, well, happy Monday to all of you. Cash stuffing Monday over here on this side of the world. Um, we are going to be stuffing $731 today. And this is from my husband's first May paycheck. So let's go ahead and give it a count and then we'll do all of our fun things. We all know this is my big struggle point. Here we go. One, 200. Oh, let me move that. 250, 3, 350. 370, 390, 410, 430, 50, 70, 490, 500, whoops, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 600, 10, 20, 30, so 630, <laughs> 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, that's not usually how I count that, 95, 705, 706, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, ooh, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, Yay. 731. I didn't want to say anything and throw you off. That was, <laughs> it was just magical. You shush. Okay. All right. First up, we're going to go ahead and go into my wallet. I'm going to hide all of the things so that it does not upset my husband who watches my videos back and swears that I'm giving you all, all of our information. But the reason I pop into my wallet in these videos, for those of you who are new, is because I pull out my receipts and my receipts I scan into two different apps that we use for cashback rewards. And one of them is called Fetch and the other one is called Receipt Hog. I love them both. Um, basically what you do is you take pictures of your paper receipts, you submit them within the app, and then you get coins or points depending on the app that you're in. And then those things can be added up to be redeemed for gift cards or cash, which is really fantastic. Um, if you use my referral code, I do get a little bit of a bonus, but so do you. Um, and all of that information is linked below in the description box. So that's what I do for that. And then um, let me put this off to the side. And then I'm going to go ahead and go in here and grab my ones. For those of you who don't know, I participate in the $1 savings challenge. It's the only, it's the only savings challenge that we are participating in currently because all of our extra money goes towards debt. But basically what we do is from every cash transaction, I steal the dollar bills that are given as change and then I squirrel them away and save them to be used on something else at a later date. So I managed to snag five this week and then I don't, I still have the same hair tie and only three pennies this week for the coin jar. What the heck? I know. I know, but it means that we didn't spend money. So, well, we did, but I mean, a lot? Well, we did. You're talking to the guy who looks at the accounts. I know. Anyway, so we have three pennies as change. <laughs> and, I mean, the bottom is definitely covered at this point. But, anyways. All right, we had no grocery rollover this week because if you saw my most recent weekly check-in on Friday, you will know that um, I got a craving for ribs and so I bought those from Trader Joe's and that will eat into a grocery budget super quick. So anyways, it's fine. We're fine. <laughs> um, I just had to pop over to my husband's office and grab the breakdown because 
Otherwise, I have no clue where I'm putting all of this money. I mean, I can keep it, but I just got a side eye from the husband. So let's first start in high priority sinking funds. So first up is groceries, which is so sadly empty and it's getting 325. So three or two, 53, 25. And hopefully, I mean, not hopefully, I'm pretty confident that I won't actually use all of this this week. And then we'll just let our rollover build up again for something else fun and yummy to eat from the store. Next up is taxes. Taxes is getting $10. And it now has 20, 40, 50, 60, 75, 85, and 90. And actually it has 500 in the bank, so it's got 590. Wait do you guys see how much I'm gonna be stuffing in taxes in my business binder? It's ridiculous. I mean, what a way to kill the entrepreneurial spirit by stealing a third of what people make and forcing them to pay taxes on it. Anyway, I'm fine. Clearly you can tell that I'm fine. Um, next up, medical is getting 15 and I just, oh, look at, I'm always trying to grab two of a bill, I swear. Um, 10 and 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, This one's one that like is comforting to me that we've got some build up in there. Mm -hmm. You too? Yeah. <laughs> Car expenses is next up and it's getting 20 and I just did a $20 bill. The fly is back. <laughs> you like your videos too. <laughs> if only that were true, okay. Um, car expenses now has 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 50, 70, 80, 90, 200, right? Yeah, 205, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 214 in car expenses. And thank you to those of you who made lovely comments about the car accident and just being, you know, grateful with us that everybody was okay. We are too. <laughs> We're also very, very happy that our car is okay <laughs> because now is not the time for a new car. Um, at all. Um, home maintenance is next up and it's getting 15. We are adding this sad little one to it. And I think I just did, I just did a 10 and a five for this. So now home maintenance has $16 in it. Next up is household. Household is getting 15. And I think I did something funky with this one. Yeah, I did two fives and five ones. Let me just, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. I'm happy I got that janky one in here because this stuff gets spent, so. Anyways, household now has 10, 15, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, and 38. So 38 in household. If you're ever interested in um, what all of my envelopes fund, um, just check out my budget binder setup or binder setup explanation video. It's the very first video that I ever did. Um, but... I don't think it's changed, anything has changed much since since then. And so then you'll know like what all of these categories fund in our life. So, and I'll leave it linked up here for you guys too. Toiletries is up next. It's getting 10 and I did a five and five ones on that one. One, two, 
three, four, five. And I say this in just about every video, but the reason why we do small denominations and things like household and toiletries is because um, we actually very often purchase these things um, via like debit card and so then we have to pay it back to the bank and it's always like you know thirteen dollars or twelve dollars or whatever and so then we want to make sure that we have small denominations in here so that making change is very easy so now in toiletries we have 10 25 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 44 and toiletries. And actually, I think I need to replenish our hand soap. So this will be a, probably a good week for that. Next up is clothes and it's getting $15. This one was recently depleted because we bought flip-flops for everybody but me. Um, I don't need them. So um, now in clothes, we have 10, 15, 21. $21 in clothes. Um, finance coach is being skipped this week. Um, and it has 10, 15, 20. And for those of you who may be curious, um, we do not have somebody who we regularly interact with who is our like financial coach or guru or anything. It's just a guy who my husband found who watches like the stock markets and things like that and makes recommendations to people for where to put their retirement funds. And he charges $65 a year for his service. And so it's a sinking fund, you know, we save up for it monthly so that we can pay him when that comes back around. So that's what this funds. Next up is our HOA and it is being stuffed this week and it's getting $10. Mm. <laughs> There's some bitterness there. Um, and it has $30 in it. We do have certain feelings about HOAs though. Ours has like $200,000 just like sitting in the bank and we don't have like a community pool. I recognize these are like first world problems, but if they're going to take your money, money, they should like use it for things and they don't. So <laughs> next things. Yeah. They don't use it for things. Um, union dues is being skipped this week and there's only $10 in here and emergency fund is currently fully funded. So that will do it for our high priority sinking funds this week. Moving on to low priority sinking funds. And the first step is dine out and it's getting $10. I don't know why I didn't grab the cash out of here first. Oh, so it's just, it's 30. So now there's 30 in dine out. This will probably be gone the next time you see this envelope. Because <laughs> um, our kids have been asking for Chick-fil-A and they haven't gotten it in a while. So it'll be gone. Um, work meals is being skipped, I think. Oh, you know what? Did I skip union dues? I sure did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> that was in a different area. I did skip it. It was supposed to get 10. I'm sorry, I just saw it on my little breakdown sheet. So now union dues has 20. Because I was just scanning looking for, um, looking for work meals on my breakdown and I didn't see it, but I did see union dues. <laughs> so there you go. Um, and work meals actually is being skipped, but it's got $5 in it. So, oh man, who has been in this envelope? Which one? The one that is upside down. The cash is upside down. So that's how I know that you've been in the envelope. Haircuts? Yes, it's haircuts, which Good. <laughs> I'm so done. Haircuts is being skipped this week. Um, but it has 20, 30, 40, 55, oh my gosh, 60, one, two, three. The five was backwards. <laughs> 63 is in haircuts. Now the money is all facing in the correct direction. Home is home decor. It is being skipped again. It's okay. We'll fund it at some point in our lives. Um, but it's got 15 in there, so... And dates is also being skipped, but let's give our account. We actually condensed 
off camera, I condensed the $52 from our dollar, dollar savings challenge that we counted last week. I think it was last week, the week before, either way. Um, so we condensed it and then put the 52 in here. And so now in dates, we have 150, 70, 90, 210, 230, 40, 1, 2, and 3, and 4. So 244 in dates. And I get asked a lot when we're going. We don't know. It is so hard to get babysitting. I know we said we share with like a couple friend of ours, but um, they're this is like a busy business season for them. And so I don't want to utilize their babysitting services on a night that they may have off. So anyways, that's it for now. Um, his, this is my husband's spending money. It's actually getting 85. And how did I do that? So my husband is getting 85. And the reason for that is actually because we had our home inspection this past week. And it was, we had earmarked 350 for it and it was actually 425. So we took 75 from my husband's envelope because we knew we would be funding house project $88 this week. So he's getting the 75 and the remainder from the 88 is actually going into our house project envelope. So that's why he's getting so much. All right, I was right in the middle of my explanation to you guys when my kids walked in. So basically the moral of the story is my husband got more this week, not because he just is flush with money and gets all of the spending money in the house, nope, 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 nope. but because home project was paying him back after he, uh, fronted some cash for it. So I think I put the money in here. We'll find out when we count it. So in his, in his envelope, now he has 152. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1. Does that sound right? Nope. <laughs> All right. Well, I definitely put the 50 in here. We're going to have to wait and find out what's left. Because <laughs> I don't remember what else I have to put in your envelope. So we'll come back to it. <laughs> Next up is hers. <laughs> hers is getting 59. And um, this is my weekly allotment plus <laughs> some money that I got back from a Zara return. So um, let's, I did two 20s, a 20, so 40, 60, 57, 58, 59. So, let me just grab this. And so, oh gosh, that was just chaotic. Okay, now in my envelope, we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 5, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So 142 in my spending money. Um, pretty hair. This funds my haircut. It's getting eight dollars this week. So five, six, seven, eight. And there we go. Now I have twenty, whoop, twenty, thirty, forty, five, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six. So fifty-six. And pretty hair. Next up is my lash lift, and it is getting $14. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh-oh, here we go. And actually, I'm gonna take this time to address something really quickly because I get a pretty regular amount of commentary from people like, if you're serious about paying your debt, you need to cut out your lash lift and all this kind of stuff and just telling me how I should be budgeting. And I wanna say first and foremost that my budget is my business. I recognize that I'm sharing it with all of you here on YouTube, but I'm not sharing it for your input. I'm sharing it as a source of maybe inspiration or information because 
while my husband and I are very, very serious about paying down our debt, we put $2,000 of our income a month at debt. So that's nothing to shake a stick at. But we're also doing this as a form of rewiring, I guess, my brain when it comes to budgeting. Oh, that was my oven. Budgeting and the way that we spend money and the way that we organize our money and our finances. And our goal is to be effective and <clears throat> impactful long term. Now, if we were staring down the barrel of losing our job or something like that, and I understand that losing a job is not something that you like know is coming, but if we felt like our life circumstances were in danger of changing quickly, we would cut out all superfluous spending and put all of our money toward debt to pay it off. But that's not really how our life is looking right now. My husband's job security is pretty solid and so is mine. And so because of that, we are using this time while we're paying down our debt to also really get good footing underneath of us as far as our budget is concerned and make sure that we're organizing it in such a way that it is sustainable. Um, I think I've mentioned this before, but the the Dave Ramsey approach to paying down debt while wonderful advice and wisdom is a lot like crash dieting. Um, you are cutting out everything and changing your life so drastically overnight in order to shed the extra pounds. And if you've spent any time in America, you know that crash dieting is an absolute failure. Now, do I think that crash dieting your budget is a failure? No, because I think a lot of people who've employed Dave Ramsey's method have been quite successful. But I also see a lot of stories about people paying down their debt and doing it aggressively and then feeling burnout and all those kinds of things. And again, while if we felt like our life circumstances were going to change we would be more aggressive paying down our debt and care less about funding things like lash lift and Christmas and all of that. We're approaching it from the, I'm not on a diet, I'm on a lifestyle change so that we make small incremental changes to our budget and to our financial life so that they have a long-term and lasting impact. We're not here for the short term. We're here for the long haul with this. This is going to be how we do our budgeting moving forward. When we pay down our debt, things will change a little bit. But for the most part, we actually feel very confident with the budget that we've set forth for ourselves moving forward, which means that once the debt is paid off, that $2,000 is going to be working for us in other ways because we don't really see ourselves putting a lot more money towards what our current budget looks like. So I understand that my system is going to be different from maybe how you would do it, but I'm not you and you're not me. And I'm not asking you to do it like I do it. And I'm not asking for your input on how I'm doing it. I'm just showing you how I do it so that if you're new to budgeting, Maybe you can take some inspiration from the fact that you can still fund these fun things in your life while you're paying down your debt. And if you can't, that's something that only you know. I can't know that for you and I can't make that change for you. I can just encourage you to do the best that you can to shed yourself of that the weight that is debt in your life but in a way that's sustainable for you long-term. So I know that uh, that was a lot of words for a lash lift envelope, but I just want to address that commentary. It makes me laugh that people get so uptight about how I'm spending my money. Just don't watch my video. Like if it really bothers you that much, just don't watch. Go on to somebody else who's doing it your way, who you can like you know, feel encouraged by or whatever. I'm not asking you to take any advice from me. I'm just showing you how I'm doing it in the hopes that maybe somebody somewhere will see what I'm doing and it resonates with them. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and count what's in my lash lift envelope. Bad, <laughs> I'm not mad. Okay, 10, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29... 
30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So $35 toward my last lash lift, which is about four weeks away from where we are now. So we're on our way. Family Fun is getting its first stuffing for the first time in a long time. Did you stuff that with eight, 14? Yes. Or, or, okay, did you do eight for lash, uh, for the hair? My hair. Did you do 59 for? Yeah. We'll discuss this later. $5 is going in Family Fun. $5 is what it has. By the way, I don't edit out those moments between my husband and I where we're discussing maybe something that he is confused by that I'm doing. Because by the way, if you don't know, he sits next to me the entire time I'm doing a cash stuffing so that he can track what I'm putting in the envelopes and so that my balance reflects what he has on his spreadsheet. And so in a situation like that, where he is confused by the money that I have in one or more of my envelopes. I'm not confused. Your math is confused. Your math is confused. <laughs> Actually, if anybody's math is confused, it's mine. But... Um, we have conversations about that and I leave that kind of stuff in because this is just real life and I don't feel the need to hide that kind of stuff from you guys. So that's why I keep it in. Um, plus it's fun. A lot of you really like my husband. So, <laughs> you know, we just keep that in. All right. Next up is miscellaneous, which is getting five and we now have five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 in miscellaneous. Um, YouTube is empty and it will remain that way until I go over my business binder with all of you guys. House project is getting 13 and this is what was left from what we were going to be stuffing it because our home inspection cost a little bit more than what we thought it would. So house project now has 13. I don't know why I was going to count it. I just <laughs> grabbed it. <clears throat> Um, and garden is being skipped. I still haven't pulled that out, but maybe I should. Did you skip family fun? No, I put $5 in family fun. Mm. Sure. Maybe pay attention instead of worrying about how wrong I am. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Dear. I'm so fun. All right. Gifts is up next. And we're in our holiday sinking funds, by the way. And gifts is getting $10. And so now gifts us 10, 20, 30, 40, 55, 56, 57, 58. So 58 in gifts. And oh, and Mother's Day it was yesterday. So I hope you all had a lovely Mother's Day. Parte is up next. It's getting $10, which is very exciting. Our next birthday in our family is in August. Um, Valentine's Day is being skipped this week, but we will give her a count so that the husband can update the spreadsheet just in case. 10, 15, 20, 1, and 2. So 22 in Valentine's Day, which I cannot get open. Whoops. There we go. All right. Um, Easter is up next and it's getting $7. And yes, we fund it year round. It is a sinking fund and we like to make sure that by the time Easter rolls around, we've got enough money in there. So now on Easter, we have 10, oops, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Next up is vacation and vacation is getting $25. 20. Five. And now vacation has one, two, three hundred, three fifty, seventy, ninety, four ten, four twenty, thirty, five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty. So four forty in vacation. And we have a little bit in the bank too, but um, not enough to like, you know, put like a placeholder or anything. Um, poor back to school is empty and it will remain so. For another week. Uh, Halloween is being skipped. I think 
Oh no, it's not fully funded yet, but it will be getting its final funding until East or Halloween this month. So it's got 1, 20, 30, 40, 5, 46, 47, 48. So 148 in Halloween. And this is for Halloween candy to pass out to the neighborhood kids and costumes. Thanksgiving is getting $10. Oops. And it has. 50, 70, 85, 95, 100. Wow, that happened fast. 100 and Thanksgiving. Oops, there we go. Um, Christmas is up next and getting 25. This one is definitely going to the bank for condensing at the end of this month. All right, so now in Christmas, we have 100, 200, 250, 300, 320, 40, 60, 80, 400, 420, 40, 60, 75, 85, 95, is that 500? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, 505 in Christmas. So this has met our threshold, but we'll just wait on that one until the end of the month, it's fine. And um, zoo is being skipped and I think, let's see, 10, 25, 31 and two. So 32 in zoo. And then this last $15 that's sitting here is for sure <laughs> supposed to go in your envelope. What did you have me at? Oh, I'm going to go back to it and add it. So this week in the dollar savings challenge, we are adding one, two, three, four, five dollar bills. And um, like always, we won't be counting this until the very, very end when we put it toward um, what we're saving for. So this time around, we're going to put all of the dollar bills that end up in our dollar savings challenge toward our vacation in August. And then I'm just gonna pop right back into my husband's spending money and give him this 15 because I guarantee you <laughs> that that's what I missed, poor thing. <laughs> oh, is that right? Did you already do the math? <laughs> Yay, but at least it was obvious, you know. You yeah, I'm gonna count it. So now he has 150, 200, 220, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 306. There it is. There it is, 306. We knew we would get there in the end. <laughs> Maybe you all had less faith in me because we know I can't math. Anyways, thank you all so much, as per usual, for tu tuning into my videos, for supporting me, for hanging out down in the comments and having a good time. You guys say the most lovely things to me. And I don't always get to like expand on how grateful I am that you are here and watching and commenting and just being so wonderful. But please know that every word you say is so touching to me. Um, I just think that you guys are fantastic and I'm so grateful that you hang out with me and like watch me budget. It's just so fun. Anyway, I hope you guys had a lovely weekend. If you're a mom, happy Mother's Day to you. I hope that the rest of your week is lovely and I will catch up with you guys on Friday at our weekly check-in. And until then, oh, no. If you could give my video a thumbs up, I would super appreciate it. And if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel. And then I will see you guys on Friday. Bye, everyone.